Welcome back to Sutra South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash, as always. And today, you guys join me inside the Suzuki Germany 5 door. Um, so, I launched this vehicle in Botswana last year. So, for some odd reason, you guys don't watch that video. I don't know why. That, that video is on like 2,500 views. Very weird. So, you guys don't watch that video. I hope you're going to watch this one. So we launched this vehicle in, in Botswana. I enjoyed it at, at, at launch, so now I have a chance to actually um, live with it for a week. I've, I've lived with it for a week, it leaves tomorrow. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this vehicle from the extra look of the vehicle, intra look of the vehicle, the drive of the vehicle, and total cost of ownership, and whether I would recommend this vehicle for you. So now, actually, before we speak about the extra look of the vehicle, guys, please subscribe to my traveling channel. So when you guys wonder what I do at launches or where I go at launches, my traveling channel covers that. You'll be seeing, you won't see any car content, but you'll be seeing where I'm sleeping, where I'm going, what I'm doing, those type of things. And I'll be doing my own traveling adventures, as especially this year alone. Like, I have so much planned. And guys, please do subscribe. I'm trying to get that channel to at least a 1,000 subscribers because I'm on 300 and something now. Let's get to a 1,000 subscribers. I know you guys can do it. But back to the vehicle. Let's speak about the extra look of the car. So with this car, the extra look of the vehicle, I personally like a Jimny. I've always been a fan of a Jimny. Um, it looks good. I like the three door more than I do the five door. The three door looks cute. As much as the five door looks cute too, it just looks a bit i think i'm used to the three door so much that the five door looks a bit weird for me but it doesn't look ugly i still like i still like the look of the vehicle it looks like a five door i've reviewed the three door it looks like a three door i've reviewed the three door before so click the pop-up banner or the link in the description box below to go to my three door review and funny enough the three door i had was in the this is the exact same color and i believe a germany needs to be bought in this color i'm not sure the color the name of this color but this is the color that matters hence my my hat of the Jimmy five door is in the same color as the car it needs to be this color but that's what the glass the extra look of the vehicle you guys know how Jimmy looks if you don't know by now at least now you know after seeing my video jumping into the interior it looks like a normal three door the only difference that you will see in this GLX model, because I'm in the GLX manual, there's GLX Auto on top of this, is the bigger infotainment system. This is a 10 inch infotainment system. And it looks good. Like, it's the first thing you'll notice when you get in the vehicle. So, I like that um, touchscreen infotainment system. It comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wireless. Um, that's a very nice feature. I didn't expect that. So, I like that about Suzuki. So, now the the comfort features that you would like like your keyless entry and your keyless start right this car doesn't have that this car doesn't have your keyless entry keyless start. it does have cruise control at least but yeah that's with regards to the entry of the vehicle the space of the car where i'm sitting is okay um you can't sit quite low because you're already sitting so high up in for like in the vehicle so that's i think for me personally because i like sitting low it might be it's my floor of the vehicle but other than that being in the interior it's fine there's nothing fancy about the car because this car is not a car for fanciness this car is this car is meant for you take it go to the mountains go off-roading all those type of things so you don't get um anything fancy look into the center of your just underneath your infotainment system and your climate control this are where your traction control button is, your hill descent button is, and your two window switches for the front windows is. And then if you want to open your rear windows, you just go here where the handbrake is. You should be seeing it on, on the overplay videos. That's where your rear windows are. Um, but your passengers at the back have their own door, door, window door switches on the door. Window switches on the door. Yeah, that's how yeah, that's I should say it. So, yeah, that's what it goes to the interior. At the back, you'd expect it to be a three-seater. So like two people on the sides and one in the middle. This one it's strictly two seater at the back. Remember what I said when I was, when I was reviewing the Ford Ranger Super Cab. I said wherever there is no seat belt, you cannot sit. So this car at the back has two seat belts, meaning only two people can sit at the back of this um, Jimny Five door. So I just had to tell you guys guys that. So and well, a, a disadvantage, but not really surprised because i've had a three door before is with regards to boot capacity uh, like the space is not a lot so for someone that i think people that travel with this vehicle always have roof rails on top so they can put their things on top or something because the at the back the seat the the boot capacity is not a lot you, you can barely you can 
barely fit a suitcase. You should be seeing all the overplay videos. I think I have a cam chair right now. You should be seeing that like it's very tight. So I think that's one of the disadvantages about about those vehicles. Now moving on to the drive of the vehicle. So this car is powered by 1.5 liter naturally aspirated, which produces 75 kilowatts and 130 newton meters of torque. So if you are looking for speed, this is not the Suzuki you wanna buy. If you are looking for speed in the Suzuki stable, rather go for a Suzuki soft spot or something. But this car is not meant for speed. And even its aerodynamics, like its structure, you can see this is not meant for speed. The wheels the car has, you can see this is not meant for speed. So the idea and the concept for this vehicle is basically to take it off-road. Off-road, this car's kick. Like it, it, it. You see those off-road vehicles that you guys are thinking about? Your Everest, your Fortunas, your, your G-Wagons, your Defenders. Bring all of those cars. I will bring a Jimny. Where those cars can go, the Jimny can also go. Where those cars will stuck will get stuck. The Jimny will pass or get stuck with those cars. But there's I don't think there's a place where the cars I just mentioned can go where the Jimny can go. And I'm just trying to emphasize on how those car is in terms of off-roading. As much as it doesn't have all the fancy tag that you'd find in like in your likes of like a defender, your G-Class, those cars are quite capable off-road. So you need needs to be in a capable driver, a capable off-road driver. So give it to the right person. If you go to any person that is an avid off-roader they will tell you the Germany is very good when it comes to off-roading and I've experienced it and I can concur and say it's very good when it comes to off-roading but this one this one is powered by a five is, is driven by a five uh, five speed manual this is, a G, this is a GLX manual you get a GLX auto um, which is which is a four speed automatic I do not recommend that gearbox if you want in the Germany rather get in a manual because I do like this manual, it's a very nice manual, get the gears correctly, feels smooth, it's a nice drive, and it's capable as well. So you, even when you're like at a high gear, for example, like the gear that I'm in now, I'm in gear 3, but there'll be times where I'm at a curve or, or something where in a, any other vehicle I'd need to downshift to gear 2. This one I don't really need to, I can take it in gear 3, like now I'm coming to just a, where I'm going to yield, I'm in gear 2 turning it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm like i'm forcing the car in gear two other vehicles i would have had to go to one then pull off with one this vehicle gets the job done road imperfections it is a jimny handles them quite good and you go over speed humps like now i'm doing 30 over a speed hump hey look at that that's the jimny for you so pricing of this vehicle so this car there's three models, right? The entry level, which is the GL manual, is priced at 413,000 Rand. The one I'm in is priced at 458,000 Rand. And the GLX Auto is priced at 480,000 Rand. That is a lot of money. This car comes with a five year, 200,000 warranty and a four year, 60,000 service plan. So if you take the one I'm in and you finance it over a period of five years, which is 60 months at an interest rate of 12.25%, with no deposit, you're looking at paying 10,200 for this vehicle. Personally, do I think that's a lot of money? Personally, no, because of what this car can do for you and the type of buyer that's looking to buy this vehicle. So someone that's buying this vehicle is someone that's gonna go off-roading, do traveling, do adventures, all this stuff. Those cars are perfect for you. But the majority of you guys that are watching, you must probably say, whew, 458,000 Rand is a lot of money. I'm going to look elsewhere. And I don't blame you. You can definitely look elsewhere. You can definitely look elsewhere with this Suzuki, like my long term that I have, the Suzuki Grand Vitara. So I think it's a thing of what do you need the car for? Now more than anything, before you can decide if it's a lot of money. And I think that's where I'm gonna end my review. I'm gonna leave it to you guys there. You guys can comment and tell me what you think about the car. Tell me if you like the vehicle. Tell me if you'd buy the vehicle, if you had the opportunity to buy the vehicle. But yeah. I'm Nikki Nash from Sitcha South Africa. As always, in proud collaboration with Change Cars, I'm gonna see you on my next review. And my next review is, you find out if you join my membership. Until then, I shall see you.